Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part 3 of my experiment. This time with Tottenham. And let's have a look if season preview has changed at all. So we're still predicted according to here for 6. Um, but our manager this time is Oliver Glasner from um, from Frank Frankfurt. Again, same predicted lineup as Tuchel. But he's younger. Stat wise, game doesn't recognise him as much. But let's see. If obviously by simulating, let's see if the game thinks he will do better than Tuchel with our squads. So I'm going to simulate now until the end of the season and we'll see how we got on. As we are at the end of season number one of this experiment, let's hope it goes better than the previous ones. If you haven't seen them, obviously go check them out. But let's have a look. So we're going this way. Sick. So we finished sick, qualified for the Europa League. No one really in the stats. Let's have a look how we did. So, oh, Diego Simeone is our manager. So, what happened with Glasner? So, he was there until the 18th of the 3rd and was sacked. Conte came in as caretaker manager, which is weird. But, he won 12, 21 games, lost 12 and drawn 12. So, he was sacked in March. Okay. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. Let's have a look at our schedules then. So, sacked in March. We sacked... Or was it the 18th, was it? 18th of March. Could be after this one. So, let's go. So, started with a couple of draws. Drew. Um, beat Olympia. Napoli drew with PSG. Won. Won. Lost. And drew again. Carabao Cup, we were still in. Quarter final. Semi-final. So we lost in the semi-final of Carabao Cup. We won in the first round of the Champions League. So at this point, we were still in the Champions League and still in the FA Cup. No, we weren't. We just lost to Cardiff. Okay, maybe it was a bit too premature. Because looking at the end of the season, it's not like it really picked up. Like we had one win, two wins, three, four wins in the Premier. We lost the last three. So it's not like it really massively picked up. So I don't know how much difference there would have been league position wise looking at this yeah there wouldn't have been any difference league position wise um let's go back to Tottenham. arsenal have appointed patrick Vieira. that's nice for them right let's go back to there we missed out schedule so how did they do champions league got to the quarter finals okay so, I think he's actually, he done alright. Obviously, he was sacked, so he couldn't have done any better. Oh, but, um, Leandro's signed 21-year-old centre-back, value at 6 to 17.5, bought for 5 million. Um, Rodrigo Villagara, 4.1 million, now value at 10.5 to 31. Douglas Santos was bought in. Ali al Masrat for 26 million. A DM... Uh, and Quinn Sullivan for 5.75. A young American player. Was anyone sold? Lucas Moore was sold. It was the only sale it looks like. So there we brought in. I would look at tactics. There's no point because it's not what he did. So let's have a look at performances. So Kane got 21 goals. Son got 16. Kuliseski got 12. Assist wise, 9 for Kane. 8 for Pope. 405 for Bentanka and Kulaseski. But do you know what? I actually don't think he done a bad job. Like ultimately he got sacked. I whether or not I agree with that decision is a completely different question. But we got in Diego Simeone, who's done okay, it looks like, but yeah. Questionable one. Again, another experiment cut short because it didn't really last long. But let me know your thoughts below, guys. Do you think he was sacked prematurely? Looks like they were still in the Champions League. They were still in the they were still in the Champions League, so it could have been fine. Let's have a look at the stages. So first half of the season We were in sixth still. Last five games. So our last five games form wasn't great. It that had us dropped down. Uh, first half of the season actually, sorry. Us, yeah, we were in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. 
We were in seventh even, sorry. Hmm. Okay. So I still think, I don't think he should have been sacked if we are in those positions. Because there was obviously still redeeming to do. Granted he was miles off top four. But we didn't really, it didn't make a difference for us getting there anyway. So we'll have to see with that one. But ultimately didn't do well enough to keep his job. Let me know your thoughts below. Who do you think we should appoint? Do you think he was perhaps too premature? And do you agree with them that he would be sacked if he came in? Um, or do you think he would do a good job at Tottenham? Let me know your thoughts below. Thank you and goodbye.